Hello guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to LitCode. Today we are going to learn two topics. One is the test group and another one is the test hooks from Playwright test under. And also we are going to see how to integrate those in our page object model code. Okay. So I believe already you know the page object model. If not, kindly watch my both the videos. I will leave a card here. You can check that. Okay. Uh, please watch those video and then come back to this video or else you might not understand. Okay. Okay, let's get into the topic. So first thing we, we are going to read the documentation that is very important. Okay, because this is very new and we are doing exclusive in our channel. I think I'm the only one as of now um, taking this new version 1.12.0. Okay, so there might be a chance, chances the few of the functions whatever I'm showing now might be changed in the future. So of course we should learn how to read the documentation so if there is any problem in future probably we can rectify easily okay by yourself or maybe i will also update definitely okay uh, so what is the first thing test group right so what is test group it's a very simple definition you can group test to give them a logical name or to scope uh, before after hooks to the group that means we can use the hooks like hooks is very simple concept like we already learned in just also in the playwright, uh, I mean, in the protective series, we have Jasmine. So the same concept before each, after each, uh, before all and after all. So those are the hooks. The same thing applies in Cucumber as well, right? So in Cucumber also, we have like um, before, after and another two is before step and after step. So same thing uh, before a test, if something is going to execute, that is known as hooks. Okay. So in playwright test order also, we have the hooks. We are going to see how to use that. Before that, I'm just going to group these two tests, okay? But you might ask me, what is the necessity? Because these two guys, these two tests are running and it's working fine. Then why we should go with the grouping, okay? Um, first problem is, uh, this is our, consider this is our one test model, okay? When I say model means, of course, it, within the model, we have like sub models as well, right? Or else we can select this are our test that belongs to a particular test suite. Now, how do you define test suite is basically with the help of describe block in any of the Java script uh, or type script running uh, runner framework, framework runner. Okay. So here we can see that in the fixture, we are getting this page object, right? Uh, we can call it a, like page object or the page fixture as well. So what does it do means for each and every test we are passing, right? So here also we are passing a page. Here also we are passing a page. That means whenever we pass the page and we use the page anywhere in within our test, basically it is going to create a new context. And you know that new context means of course new new browser, right? So if I have two test means of course it's going to run in the first, uh, it will run in one browser, that is one context. And then again, it will run in another context, okay? So opening up a browser and closing a browser will also take time. We have like simple test case, simple example. So it's not that big deal, but you consider your project where you have like more than 100 or 1000 of test cases, then of course it's going to time consuming, at least for the opening up and closing the browser, okay? And another thing also, like when we are, when we are going to perform like end to end, of course we want to continue uh, one by one within the same context, within the same browser, right? So that is the uh, necessity of uh, test flow, okay? Now, how to do that? How to use that? Very simple. We, can, we are just going to select test dot describe. So instead of just stating like describe as we do in just all the Jasmine in test runner, play red test runner, we have to select test dot describe. That's it. And first argument is basically your string, uh, any sweet name, and then a callback function. Very simple. That's it. Okay. So here I'm going to say like um, I can select just sweet something like that. Okay. Okay. And then what we are going to do, we are going to just wrap this within this one. Okay. Um, so what will happen means when this describe block will run, it is going to execute this test and this test as well. Okay. But still the problem is, uh, even though we have grouped out this case, uh, here we are using the fixture. As I said, it is going to create new new context for each and every object. So that means again, two browser will be launched. But I don't want to launch two browser, rather I want to keep one browser and uh, just use the same browser, okay? So how to do that is very simple. Uh, we can make use of the hooks, okay? So let's understand, understand the code. First, what we are doing, uh, in this also we are using the uh, same website, litcode.in and here also we are using the same. That means I'm repeating the code 
uh, for both the test right so what can i do so i can simply say like before each or i can also use the before all so that i will load the um, url only once and then i can use it okay let me show you so i'm going to say like this dot before all and here uh, first one is the async function is a call by callback function okay and then of course i should not use this space because this guy is going to create new new context right so i'm just going to remove that from here and from here as well okay now the problem is we are not able to under understand like uh, where the page is coming from okay so you might ask me like i can just use the page here but that is not the case in before all we cannot use the page directly but we can access the browser here and based on the browser we can use the new page let me show you that it's going to be very simple so let page and that is going to be of type page here and then we are going to say page equal to await and then i'm going to say browser dot new page okay remember we already have learned this right so chromium dot launch and from the browser object we will create the context and from the context we will create page but here from the browser context we are directly creating the page okay that's it very simple now i can make use of this page everywhere okay so then of course i don't want to repeat this step so i'll just load the url only once and here also i don't need this one so i'm going to remove this okay that's it so here i have like before all where i'm just creating the page object using this browser fixture and i'm going to this particular url and first test is basically we are checking the title that's fine second one we are checking the same title so i don't want to do this i will just comment it out and then we are navigating to something and we are doing our uh, usual login code okay now let's try to run this and make sure it's not uh, broken okay and one more thing in the, within the test folder i have two files one is the first.test.ts and another one is the tc00.test.ts right so of course we know that when we are going to run using the npm run test it is going to run both the test file right but i don't want to run this tc001 as of now so what i will do i will go to my um, playwright config file and here i'm going to say test match if you remember in just also we discussed the same test match the same thing here as well okay so within the array i'm going to specify the file path here okay so that's going to be uh, let's copy this and paste over here okay that's it very simple that means this guy will go and search for this file only and that file is all alone going to run okay so control j to bring up your terminal and then we are going to say npm run test so it's going to run the describe block and within the describe block we have two tests both the tests are going to execute very simple Okay, so first one completed now second one and uh, second one is actually failing because in the previous video i failed explicitly and we used the retry right so that is the reason it's getting failed here okay anyways but you understood that uh our script is running properly right that's it okay um okay now uh if i don't want to retry instead of commenting this i can change the value to zero that means no there will be no retries okay but before that let us try to fix this one so here the problem is basically the url is mismatching okay so here if i go okay actually it's not uh, the what the slash is the only problem nothing else here so uh, once we do the login it will be like something like let code dot in slash so that is the only thing it's showing here okay uh, if I want to check partially, I can just change this to like two contains that will check partially. Okay. Uh, just to make sure it's going to pass, I'm going to rerun this again. You might ask me, hey Kaushik, this is not fair. You are taking the same login example and you are showing the same demo again and again with the different things. But that is the only thing I can do. Uh, because from the gist, we move to the test runner. I want to make sure that everyone is going to understand about the test runner. So I'm just, uh, it's kind of recap to you, but definitely it will help you. And regarding the login script, I will try my best to bring in some another website and some another test cases. Uh, these are like basic stuff. Once we are good with the basic, 
probably you have to practice. There is no use of me sitting and typing all the codes. That's like that's more of like spoon feeding. At least I can spoon feed you the methods how to use it. But test case you have to do my friend. But definitely I will try to bring some content. So those who are not able to understand like how to write multiple test cases or multiple scenarios within the same file, probably I will show you more demos in the upcoming videos. Okay. Uh, yeah, so here you can see that two test and it's really fast within the eight, eight seconds. Okay, and uh, okay, uh, so that's it, right? So similarly, if you want to use the before each, like before each and every test, if you want to perform something, you can say like test dot before each, and then that's it. Okay, so similarly, you can use that as well. Okay, so you have to write this one. Yeah, so you can write like this as well. Okay, so this is fine. So we understood like how to use the hooks and how to group the test suite. Okay.